up everybody we're back with another video today we're going to be installing a dke switch now if you have your racing rig here and your your computer is either on the floor or maybe behind your rig like mine see how it's behind my rig there sometimes it's really difficult to get to the power and to always reach to the back to get the power or reach underneath the steering wheel to get the power well today we're going to install a switch that eliminates that issue altogether, and we're going to Make a switch that maybe goes somewhere on the monitor or somewhere near my steam deck let's unbox this and show you what's in the package okay so you get the switch itself with a pretty lengthy wire okay now this wire connects right to your computer's motherboard i'm not going to tell you where it is on your motherboard because every motherboard's different two magnets because this is magnetized so you can connect it and stick this to wherever you want this 3m tape on the back and then you have another adapter this is plugs into your motherboard and this way you can use your old power switch along with the new power switch so let's get to the install few things that you should do here turn it off with the switch in the back here and also unplug it so there's no power going to the motherboard so you can start working on it the power is usually at the bottom right of the motherboard but like i said every motherboard's different here's the cable and it's a really long cable here as you can see but uh, um, I have an open slot in my PCIe back here, so I'm going to run the wire through there. It's a good it's open here. It's going to be out of the way of everything. Then you can hide it afterwards if you'd like. So on the cable, just so you know, there's some LED lights. You have power, plus, and minus. Um, and you're going to find those on your motherboard as well if you want the LED light on. Some people may not like the LED light. Another thing to note, there's an arrow here. I don't know if you could see it. But there's an arrow there. Make sure that arrow lines up with the arrow on the power supply cord that's coming in. So there's an arrow on the other side. Make sure those two arrows are facing each other. I installed it right here at the bottom. Here's the other wire. You got the plus, the minus, and the power. And then I plugged in the power from the old power supply as well. All right, so we're sitting on the rig. Here's the button. It's going from the back of the computer. Uh, placing the button is subjective. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to place it here on my monitor because it's going to show the wires the least. I don't want to see any wires. I hate the wires. They drive me crazy. There. This magnetizes right on. Boop. And the moment of truth is we're going to hit this button. Hopefully the LED light turns on and hopefully uh, our computer turns on. Oh, see the blue LED? I hear the fan from the computer. Computer is loading and we are up and running with an external switch. Now that switch is only about $10, give or take. It's a great addition to your sim racing rig, especially if your computer is out of the way in the back, underneath stuff, and you will no longer have to reach for that power button. It's a cheap and easy upgrade. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to catch you guys on the next one.